Time to modify the top cover. So these are the shift rods. This is for one and two, this is for three and four, and this is for fifth and reverse. So in the kit came this shift rod here, which is a replacement for the one and two to make for smoother shifts. I'm not sure what the difference is, but when we take this out, we'll compare it. And then also there's these uh, bronze or brass, I'm not sure what they are. These are shift fork pads. So if we turn this thing over, uh, these, these shift pads are, they're, they're here, like here, here, and here. There's three on each one of these shift forks, on the one, two, and the three, four, and our six in the kit. So now the shift fork's loose, and now we need to pull this plate out, which holds the detents in that hold uh, the shift rods in. Loose, but there's definitely springs in here, so I'm going to be careful as I as I loosen these up. You can see here when I push it down, it's under spring pressure. So to be safe, I did two things. One, I put on safety glasses, and then I also put a clamp um, across here to just hold that thing down. Again, I don't know how much spring pressure is under. I just don't want it to blow and uh, get hurt or to lose the springs. So uh, these are loose now, so now I'm going to take them out. Let's see what we have here. Okay, top one's out. All right, so now I'm going to loosen up this clamp. I'm going to do it this way in case those springs totally go crazy I don't lose them they go flying across the garage all right uh oh okay now I see what is there okay so what we have are those three detent springs and this was on here this way and then there's three uh, ball bearings that are like uh, the detent balls. All right, so now the one two shift rod should just push out. I think. Shift fork. Okay, so here is the shift rod. Let's compare it to the, uh, the one from uh, Liberty Gears. The new rod is on the top, the old rod is on the bottom. And just as a side note, I know I've said this many, many times before, just because parts are new, don't assume they're clean. Uh, clean up all new parts. Uh, you'd be surprised how dirty this thing was by the time I cleaned it. Anyhow, the only difference I can find is um, here, is the neutral detent. Um, the new one is um, about 30 to 40 thousandths deeper. That seems to be the only difference between these two rods. Also that came with the kit is a spring, a different spring for that one two shift rod for the detent. Uh, the new one is on the top, the old one is on the bottom. Uh, I measured the wire diameter is the same but you can see there's more coils on the new one than on the old one. I tried like squeezing these things and getting a feel for it. Um, it feels, I don't know, it's, I think it's a little stiffer. Time to put the new 1-2 shift rod in. And one thing you have to be sure of is that the 3-4 rod needs to be in the neutral position. And I can look and tell it's in the neutral position because it's in that center, that center detent right here. Because there's a, a detent ball here and if you don't have, let's say it's not in neutral position, you can't push the rod in. But if you get this lined up, and I'm looking down through the hole here, I can see it's on the center detent. Then the one-two rod just, just pushes right through. Okay. 
Now we need to slide on the shift fork, the one two shift fork. So we'll get that on there. And we'll pin that later. And then put the one into the into the second into the that second boss. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm gonna line all these shift rods up in that neutral position. Again, I can look down through the holes here um, where the detents go and I can see they're in a neutral position. I'm going to throw a little oil down on these bores. Okay. And the, uh, the ball bearing detents, I'm going to put those right down in there. So that's the one, two. Here's the three, four. And here is fifth reverse. Okay, so this goes on here and holds everything in place. But these are the detent springs. So um, I put oil down in these bores. Um, this is the new spring that'll go on the one, two. And here is the, what would it be, three, four, and then the, the reverse. I'm gonna put a little more oil down in there. Okay, I'm going to put some oil on top of the detents, detent balls. Okay, so we have to have that new spring on the one, two. So let's get, let's see, so it's three, four. That's, that's one. Okay, so that's neutral. And those other two are neutral. On. Okay, now we got to get these bolts started. So the kit comes with new wrist pins for the uh, for the shift fork. So I'm just going to use a punch to line up the holes. And then install the pin. So let's just make sure everything shifts through okay. So here's the one two shift rod. The other two are in neutral position, so I should be able to move this back and forth through the detents. Okay, so that's the first detent. That's neutral. There's the third detent. Okay, make sure I didn't mess up anything with the three four, it's a neutral. First detent, neutral, second detent. And then for reverse fifth, uh, it's a neutral. First detent, oops, back to neutral, and third detent. So everything works okay. Next step is to put on the new shift pads on the forks. Each fork, the one, two fork, and the three, four fork have uh, these shift pads on pads on there. There's three on each. One, two, three. One, two, three. And they basically just pry off, it looks like. So um, I will do this one first. Once this thing's installed, uh, they for the most part hold themselves in. Okay, so we got those out. Take them off of this one. This is the one, two. So this is interesting. So these are the ones I took off. These are plastic. Um, if you see it, they're, they're, just, they're just plastic. So here's a, I'm gonna say a good one, okay? Look at this one. It's annihilated, it's half gone. And I've got another one here that's half gone. Look at that. And then there's another one here that is on its way to being gone, it's broken. So these ones that were half gone, they were the, I'll call it the like the center ones here. They weren't on the ends. Center ones on each shift fork. And this one that's damaged, but not totally gone yet, was up on this top. And I'm looking at the shift fork and this is a 3-4 fork. There's a big burr here. 
Um, I did not see any damage on the on the cluster gears and stuff. I'm going to take another look at that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just get rid of this big burr and try to do this with so I don't have to take this whole thing apart and cover this thing up here so I can keep shavings out and um, grind that down a little bit. So the new ones, again, are bronze or brass. Um, obviously, they're going to be a lot more durable than the plastic ones. I don't really bang shift this thing. I know power shift it, but I do shift it pretty hard. But I am always clutching. But um, I've been having problems getting this thing into you know third gear and such. And uh, this could definitely do it. Um, wow, interesting. So here's uh, finished product, so to speak. So you can see here that I took those. Um, those burrs down. Um, I did it with a, just a Dremel tool and a little grinding wheel. Did it on both sides of that shift fork. Um, this is a 3-4 fork. The 1-2 fork is okay. It doesn't have any burrs on it. Even. Put towels around it um, so I'm not worried about um, seal it off pretty good. I'm not worried about uh, any grinding dust getting in there. I install these new shift fork pads and they should just tap right into place. So just a press fit. I'm using a brass pin, not to pound on them directly. Until they go home. So I got all the all six of the shift pads on there. I ended up I started out with this brass drift pin, but um, it was actually marring up. I just putting little mars on the surface, which I didn't like. So I ended up just switching to a piece of wood uh, to pound them in. So the last thing to do on the top cover here is uh, there's some O-rings uh, here that seals the front of the top cover off against the tail housing. It goes up against here. So um, you can see one of them is missing. I, I broke one of them when I was taking it apart. There's two O-rings per shaft. So I'm just going to, I got a little pick here. I'm going to get these O-rings out. New ones come with the kit. So uh, we just put these guys on here. I put a little uh, lithium grease on here, um, as they suggest, to keep from digging them up, putting them on, especially when you put the tail housing on. So, um, and all O-rings installed. So the top cover is done. 